Hi folks, hope you're okay today. I want to just read a, a few extracts from um, an article which you can download, a PDF. It's by former Jonas Witness Testimony, Adrian. Uh, and you can get it at former Jehovah's Witness Testimony X Jehovah's Witness. You can get it at www.evangelicaloutreach.org Adrian J W H T M dot H T M. Um, so you can get this article, and I'm just going to read a few pointers of why this person left the Jehovah's Witness. He said, "My name is Adrian. I'm an ex Jehovah's Witness, now serving God in faith and truth from my heart." I uh, was born into the Jehovah's Witness religion cult, but I grew old. I, I grew older. My family left them. He says to date, the fall of Babylon, etc., was understood by Charles D. Russell measuring the pyramid. Incidentally, his grave is indeed a pyramid. Russell also taught Lefian is a locomotive, and God lives on a star with angels. During the study of one of their modern books, the Daniel book, I find more problems with certain dates and the way they interpreted certain prophecies. Just for general information, you may wish to search for the Millerite chart online. This is where the JW Doctrine, an incorrect date for the destruction of Jerusalem, came from. He goes on disproving 707 BC from a former Jehovah's Witness. Does the word of the Lord change? After more and more study, I was horrified to find some of the teaching they had previously said were the word of the Lord, but now was not accepted. Does not the word of the Lord remain unchanged? His truths are the same now as they are at the beginning. Needless to say, in searching for the truth, eventually I confronted an elder or two concerning this and what the Bible actually said. They told me not to read too much as I would stumble myself. This fueled the fire and eventually I called a meeting to remove myself from the group as I knew the Lord had shown me I was not following him in the correct manner. I presented them with many proofs as to why their doctrines are incorrect. Two are they do not and will not worship Jesus Christ as Lord when this is clearly presented in scripture. Two, the abuse of the Lord's Supper where they forbid all but the remnant of 144,000 to participate. They would not even look at my research and after one start shouting at me, that I didn't believe in God and I didn't believe his word. I simply looked to the other elders there and asked them if the elder shouting at me was the spirit of God. They told me I was free to leave. Indeed, I did, feeling the freedom of God upon me and the chains of man-made rules. So that's just some of his article. And you can get this article, uh, Former Jehovah's Witness Testimony, Adrian. And uh, you can get it on www.evangelicaloutreach.org, Adrian. And it's a good article to download and to pass on to fellow uh, Jehovah's Witnesses to show them the need to come out of the Jehovah's Witnesses. So God bless you and uh, all that's a blessing to you. Take care. Don't forget my website jasonburnspreacher.com